what are we attaching ourselves to? I remember reading several different books on that. Uh, one of them, I think, was Gerald May's book, Addiction and Grace. And what are we attaching ourselves to? Because we're supposed to attach ourselves to God and then in healthy relationships. And um, and that segue into this question that I had next for you, too. And you, you said... Um, in your book, we're not addicted primarily to sex, but instead we're addicted to feelings of shame and judgment. Yeah, that's a that's a big paradigm shift. Uh, and I would say that most, when you look at most addiction therapy or just most theological conversations, you might hear something along the lines of, I was just bored, or this is something that I was doing for coping, or this is just something that I was doing for self-medicating. And I, I think that that's true. You'll never hear me say that that's untrue, but I think that actually conceals so much more of what's actually playing out in the human heart. Oftentimes, let's say I feel like I have no purpose in my life or I feel really ashamed of who I am. What ends up happening in our compulsive behaviors is that we actually go to pursue even more evidence in the court of law against ourselves. And so, you know, if I'm not feeling terribly regulated and I, I dislike my body the way it looks, very likely I'm going to pursue maybe a, a type of food that reinforces judgment against myself. And then guess what I feel? Well, now I don't just feel unwanted because of my sexual behavior. Now I also feel unwanted because I ate a half carton of ice cream in the midst of my shame. And so just that sense of we have to engage that all addictive behavior, all compulsive behavior is a relief from the agony and the misery of life, but it's also the reinforcement of the agony and the disappointment of life. Right. And so a lot of times people just say, you know, I, I can't stop self-medicating. And it's like, but you've done this behavior 1,037 times and, and 1,036 times you actually felt terrible about yourself after. And so I think that's really what we have to step into. We're pursuing behaviors far more for the purpose of judgment against ourselves than just mere pleasure. So a lot of the research that I did back this up and that men who you know pursued unwanted sexual behavior were 300 times more likely to keep pursuing more pornography for each unit increase in the shame that they were experiencing. And women were 546 times more likely to pursue more porn for each level unit uh, of shame that they were experiencing. So just that core premise that shame, not pleasure, drives our compulsive choices.